Welcome to another round of With Just 15 Defeats. I'm T Cozy, and here we are. It's February 2016, and we've got some momentous news for heavyweight boxing all around the world. It's recently been announced that Anthony Joshua is going to challenge Charles Martin for the IBF World Heavyweight title. Now, I did not see this coming, as I've previously discussed in some of my other videos about Anthony Joshua that there was possibly uh, Chisora that looked like it was going to be on the cards and possibly some other um, fights where he builds up uh, his reputation but somehow he's managed to get this huge uh, world title fight I genuinely was really surprised I was surprised when I heard that it was possibly um, going to come to fruition and now that it has, I have just one feeling that Anthony Joshua doesn't deserve it. It just 100% should not be in a world title fight at this stage in his career. Now, you just have to think about who he's recently fought. So, let's just quickly get the page up. In his last two fights, he's fought Dillian White and Gary Cornish. So... Off the back of two guys who are English, possibly British level, currently, he's he's elevated himself to world title contention. It, it, it stinks. It simply stinks. There's no way that should be really allowed, but it is, because it's all politics, the fact that Charles Martin has a title is bullshit in itself. There's no way that Tyson Fury should have been stripped of his title in the first place. And the fact that his title was fought for uh, literally a matter of weeks after he was stripped is, is a disgrace, really. And the fact that the two number one contenders were Charles Martin and uh, Glashkov. There's no way they should be number one contenders, not in a million years. They neither had a record of fighting anyone of any note uh, that would really elevate them to uh, that sort of level. And the fact that Martin won it on an injury makes even more of a mockery of, of the title. And now he's defending it against a, a murderous opponent in Anthony Joshua. <sighs> The sad reality is that he's only going to go one way. Anthony Joshua's definitely going to win the belt. He's effectively been handed the belt already, which is it is a shame. It's a shame for boxing. It's a shame for getting excited about boxing. Now, we all want a British heavyweight champion. We've got one. And that was such an event. It really was an event. Like everyone was talking about Fury challenging Klitschko for that title. And some people didn't think he was going to win. Some people, few people thought he would. But there was there was a real excitement. It was a real exciting fight. Everyone was looking really looking forward to, to, to that fight. And is it a similar situation like when, when Hay challenged for that world title against Valuev? And it was... People were looking forward to that fight because they knew it was going to be a competitive fight. Uh, both of those fights, they were going to be competitive fights. And if the Brit won, they 100% deserved it and they would get the adulation that they so rightly deserved. Anthony Joshua, no way is he going to get that. He's going to be handed that title and he's just going to be put into that spotlight of being another world champion on the same level as Fury and these guys. It doesn't sit right with me personally. I know it's a business, and that's the decision that Eddie Hearn's taken. He's obviously decided to cash in on uh, Anthony Joshua because there's such a weak opponent out there. Now, I've seen some tweets from Eddie Hearn where people have basically been um, attacking Eddie Hearn for setting up this fight and stating the obvious that Anthony Joshua doesn't really deserve this. And they've basically been uh, using, uh, they've been quoting a soundbite from Joshua where he's basically said he isn't ready for David Hay, who I've personally said on a number of occasions on this channel that Hay would be 
Joshua at this moment in time, 100%. Maybe later on in the year, next year, Joshua wins comfortably. But at this moment in time, if David Hay is the David Hay that we know, we don't know because of that stupid fight that he had. We don't know what level he is. But if he's anywhere near the level that he was, he can beat Joshua fairly easily, in my point of view. My opinion, sorry. Um, Eddie Hearn has uh, retaliated to those people that have quoted in the... Um, the soundbite that Joshua said that he's not ready for David Hay. He's basically saying that, yeah, fair enough, but this is a much easier fight. Now, the fact that a world title fight can be a much easier fight than against someone who hasn't fought realistically for four years is really, really saying something about the quality of this belt. Now, he's obviously decided to cash in on this situation. They're going to take that. And then they're going to use it to make even more money on on a series of defences. Now, he's going to win that belt. And he's probably going to maintain the same sort of level of opponent as Martin, as White, um, without really stepping up. There's no way I can see him uh, winning that belt and then moving on to Deontay Wilder, Povetkin, uh, Klitschko, Fury. Any of these guys. It just is not going to happen. Um, which is a shame for the for the whole sport. Realistically, I think that Joshua should have had a number of good calibre opponents that then moved on to that level. Now, it could be the situation that Eddie Hearn and the team think that, uh, based on the the slight struggle he had against White and the fact that he was in a little bit of trouble momentarily, that maybe they think that he isn't going to progress. Maybe they see the holes in... Joshua's game that means that he's never going to be able to beat the very top guys he's going to have that murderous punching ability he's going to be able to um, devastate so many opponents but maybe when he hits that top level people are going to have his number so they're taking his opponent, they're going to take this title and then they're going to basically, he's going to be manoeuvred around opponents, now that, that's just an opinion, I don't know whether it's necessarily going to be true but I, I actually, I definitely don't, I can't see him uh, like he wins this belt. He's not going to defend it against David Hay. He's going to defend it against, I don't know, Chisora or someone someone ridiculous like that. Um, but but time will tell. Now, going to going moving forward onto the actual fight, Charles Martin defending against Anthony Joshua, what is going to happen? I think that a lot of people are saying that Anthony Joshua is going to win this relatively comfortably. Um, most of that is because they just don't know who Charles Martin is. He literally just come on the scene winning that belt I know where nobody's really seen much of him um, actually I predicted that Martin would win um, the title fight obviously I didn't know that the opponent would get injured and he would win it by default I actually thought that Charles Martin would probably stop his opponent and to be perfectly honest I still believe that if they were to rematch which I think would have been fair on the opponent I think that Charles Martin would have stopped him and stopped him Fairly, relatively comfortably, really, it would have been a definite stoppage win for Charles Martin. Now, we all know that Anthony Joshua, he is he's another animal. He is another animal, and he has murderous punching power. And if he lands those bombs on Charles Martin, Charles Martin's going to drop. He's going to drop like a sack of you-know-what. He's going to be completely finished and he's moving on. He's going to have made a massive payday on this fight. Though. This is obviously part of the reason why he's taken this fight and he hasn't defended it against, I don't know, anyone else. Um, he's obviously making serious... He's going to make millions out of this fight, live at the O2, pay-per-view, all that good stuff. But going back to the actual fight, I think that Charles Martin is a bit of a gunslinger. He likes to throw deep punches, overhands, and... The problem that we identified in that last fight with Anthony Joshua was that he's got literally no movement at all, body and head, and he's a sitting target if you can stay out of his uh, out of his reach and counter him. If you've got good countering ability and you can evade shots, you might get something out of uh, Anthony Joshua. You, you, you could beat him. Um, so we'll know that this guy, Charles Martin, he could beat him. I think most people know that he probably won, and the fact that the uh, in the bookies, they've already put Anthony Joshua as the odds-on favourite to win this. Now, that's <laughs> ridiculous how he can be odds-on as a challenger to defeat a champion. 
And the fact is that, and Joshua, he's not a novice, but he's not really that experienced. Like, even his amateur career was relatively short, even though he was the Olympic gold medalist. It's just, it's, it, it, this is just a crazy, unprecedented situation that we're in the heavyweight division. Now, we'll just have to see how this goes, but personally, I don't think Alan Josh deserves it. I think he's going to win it. I think he's going to win it comfortably and Hopefully he moves on to bigger and better fights where he can show what an actual beast is and what a fantastic boxer is. But we really have to wait and see. So that's my um, that's what I think. And my actual prediction is stoppage in two for Anthony Joshua. If anyone that's interested, stoppage in two. I think that's it's as simple as that. It's a stoppage win in two for Anthony Joshua. So as uh, time progresses, we might have another video regarding this fight closer to the event, maybe talking about the undercard. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but um, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you can give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. i uh, really like to hear from some people. really like to hear from what you think is going to happen, uh, what you think about a fight, what you think about potential other fights. Just uh, give us a shout, and uh, thanks for watching.